Itong Rubik's Cube. O yan, nakabuo na siya para sa akin. Thank you, Microsoft. Hindi ko na kailangan mag-isip. Nakabuo na po yung Rubik's Cube. Charot! Yo, so guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dara David, and this is a video I'm so excited for you to watch. It's all about my Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador experience. So, what's it about? How to join the perks, and of course, the unboxing of the Microsoft Swags Kit. So, natin pa tagalin pa. Let's get started. So the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador is a global group of on-campus ambassadors who are eager to help students and their communities, lead their local tech circles, and develop technical and career skills for the future. Meaning, is a program ng Microsoft at Microsoft Learn for sa mga college students all around the world. So, pag isa kang Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador, iko yung para magiging representative ng university nyo. So, pwede ka mag-conduct ng activities such as hackathon, webinar workshops, tutoring sessions that highlights Microsoft technologies. And being the first one in my university, I really wish na marami pang MLSA. Kaya sa mga tama raw, sa nanonood dyan, samaan nyo na ako maging Microsoft Royal Student Ambassador. Now, you might ask, why? Diba? Like, why should I apply? Good question. You'll be able to make a difference, grow your skills, build your reputation, and become a leader. So, having this passion in technology, no nakita ko tong mga reasons sa to sa website ng Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador, it was like an instant click for me na, okay, I have to apply. Kasi it aligns with my advocacy na I want to empower and inspire people to have an interest in technology. So, if you're an inspiring change maker and a big fan of Microsoft technologies, this is the perfect program for you. Especially if ayaw mo naman para maging officer ng org na gusto mo maging solo student ambassador or actually pwede rin kayo mag-build ng org, ay okay lang yun. So, perfect show for anyone who wants to make an impact in their tech communities. What are the other perks of being a Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador? Check this out. Number one is you have access to Microsoft resources. You have access to Microsoft resources such as Microsoft Learn. So yung Microsoft Learn para siyang mga Coursera or Udemy, tapos puro Microsoft Technologies lang. You also have access to Microsoft 365, TextMate Snagit, and Camtasia Screen Capture and Recording Software. Another perk is Visual Studio Enterprise Subscription and $150 monthly Azure credits. So it's really, these are really helpful if you want to learn all about cloud computing or gusto mo matry ma-deploy yung mga application mo gamit Microsoft Azure. So yun, another perk is exam certification vouchers. I cannot stress this enough, guys. Very important that we have mga certifications sa ating resume or portfolio. So, if you want to be Microsoft certified, you apply ka as a Microsoft Resident Ambassador and you get vouchers. Another perk, which is one of my favorites, is access to LinkedIn Learning. So, what is LinkedIn Learning? It's LinkedIn Learning is an online course provider, it's a Skillshare then or Coursera, where you can learn anything from event planning to startup business plans to being a Python developer and being a cloud provider, mga ganon, nandun lahat sa LinkedIn Learning. And ang maganda pa, pa nakatapos ka ng learning path, para magkakaroon ka ng badge doon or certificate sa iyong LinkedIn profile. Another one is you're gonna have a free domain name. So I haven't tried this yet kasi di pa ako nakagawa sa really kong website. But I'm so excited, you know. I'm so excited to have this storyladavid.com, di ba? And another perk that's connected to that domain name, parang ganun na rin, is meron tayong sariling email. So pag Microsoft for Student Ambassador ka, may sarili kang email. So mine is darla.david at studentambassadors.com. O di ba? Nakakakilig! Another perk is to get event support plus connections. So I have met a lot of inspiring people from all around the world just because of the program. Meron din group chat ang Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Philippines kung saan ang tutulangan kami doon and we get to meet each other and everyone has been so helpful na parang po may tanong ako sa group chat at sasagot naman nila. So shout out sa mga Microsoft Learn Student Ambassadors in the Philippines. Hello! <laughs> Meron ding MS Teams para sa lahat na yung buong MLSA na. So doon ko nakakontact yung mga MLSA from other countries and doon ko rin nakakontact yung mga program head kung may mga tanong din ako. 
And then you can also get help from my event kayo. You can also get help from Microsoft MVPs and Cloud Advocates. Another perk is to get to show your Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador milestone badges, which I'll explain later. And of course, last but not the least, is the Microsoft Beta Swag Kit. So unbox ko yan later. Watch out lang guys, stay tuned lang kayo dito sa uh, Microsoft Swag Skit natin. Another benefit or parang bonus perk is of course having that title, you know, na isa kang Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. Hindi lang sa resume mo, hindi lang sa portfolio mo or LinkedIn profile mo. Just in general, you know, na ang gandang experience, parang wow, isa akong Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. Now let's talk about how the whole system works. Kasi yung program na to, meron kang parang roadmap that can serve as your guide throughout your whole Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador journey. So, dito pumapasok yung mga tinatawag na milestones. So, you have the new, you have the alpha, you have the beta, and you have, of course, the gold. So, all you have to do is to follow the checklist. So, parang may checklist dyan. And you have to cross each one out para malaman mo kung nasan ka na at kung ready ka na mag-level up. So, una-una, after you reply, you're gonna get your acceptance email or acceptance letter. And then, doon mo makita kung ano yung mga kailangan mo i-set up, like your account, ganon, and your MS Teams. And then, wag ka mag-alala dahil magkakaroon ng isang grand meeting kung saan i-orient ka about the program. But, ikakwento ko na rin dito yung experience ko kada milestone. So, nag-start ako sa new, and what I did sa new is to attend their monthly meetings. Parang tinatawag siya league events. So, may mga team yun eh, if I'm not mistaken. Like, kunyari, for October, uh, about AI, and then next month, about other naman, like web dev, ganun. So, kada month yun. Ang downside lang dito for the monthly meetings is, usually, madaling araw siya. So, yung iba na miss ko kasi mga 1am na siya kasi puro international na like hindi lang siya focus sa Philippines. And then another one is to complete a learn path to advance. So, uh, punta ka Microsoft Learn and then pipili ka dun kung anong gusto mong learning path and then kukompletuin mo yun. So, ang ginawa ko is nag-complete ako ng isang uh, Azure, Azure Fundamentals, yung cloud computing nila. And then yun, naka-advance ako agad sa Alpha. Once na-notify ka na naka-level up ka, na nakapunta ka sa Alpha, ma-unlock man na yung benefits mo, such as yung Azure and yung access sa LinkedIn Learning. Guys, kaya ako nag-emphasize sa LinkedIn Learning, pati yung Azure, kasi both are paid. Pero once na student ambassador ka, free yan. So, yung LinkedIn Learning, ang ganda, kasi meron na siyang mga recommended uh, mga playlists na kunyari, how to host an event, o kaya, mga fundamentals ng cloud computing. So, may mga ganun. So, diba, naalak mo na yung benefits mo. As an alpha, the next thing you have to do is to host an event that features any Microsoft technology. So, what I did is I hosted a Git and GitHub workshop. Since ang Git and GitHub ay pagmamayari ng Microsoft. So, kanya-kaya yan. Like for me, ang ginawa ko nga ay Git and GitHub. Meron dito parang mga nag-Azure Fundamentals, Microsoft 365. So, any Microsoft technology. And you have to report it. So, parang may platform kung saan kailangan may submit yung event na ginawa mo. So, actually guys, may mga guidelines yan if you want to host a Microsoft event. Unang-una is dapat MS Teams yung gamit. Bawal Zoom, bawal Google Meet, bawal StreamYard, basta MS Teams. And dapat recorded siya. Dapat recorded yung buong event mo kasi ipapasa mo yan. Another one is you need at least 15 participants to attend your event and dapat man lang maka 1 hour yung event mo. And then when it comes to graphic design naman, kunyari mag-host ka ng event at di ka marunong mag-design ng mga poster at mga virtual background, wag ka mag-alala kasi meron na silang ipaprovide for you na na yung mga certificate, poster, virtual background, logo, invitation, at iba pa. After ko mag-host ng event, report ko siya at ilang days, na-notify na sa aking email na nag-level up na ako sa beta. At sa beta naman, doon ko marireceive yung Microsoft Swag Skit. So, don't forget guys, din yung makukuha yung Swag Skit agad-agad. Dapat makapunta muna kayong beta, which is the second to the last milestone. Right now, I am on my beta milestone. Nakuha ko na yung aking Swag Box and I'm working my way towards the gold milestone. So, paano nga ba makamove sa gold milestone? All you have to do is to keep skilling on learn, meaning take ka lang ng take ng mga learning pathways. Ang maganda din is makapagkuha ka ng maraming Microsoft certifications and makapakontak ka pa ng mga events. So, right now, ang ginagawa ko is nag-aaral ako ng Azure. And, of course, if you guys want a Git and GitHub workshop, please contact me. Uh, dagdag din yun sa events ko. And soon, sana makapag-workshop na rin ako about cloud computing. So, abangan nyo yan. So, if you're wondering, hanggang kailan lang pwede maging Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador kasi baka busy ka sa ACADS or may ginagawa kang imba, 
Huwag ka mag-alala kasi if I'm not mistaken, hanggang sa pag-graduate mo to. So as long na college student ka at accepted ka sa program at wala kang bina-violate na any rules, I highly recommend na kahit first year pa lang kayo or second year, mag-apply na kayo kasi imagine hanggang fourth year nga dala yung title na isa kang Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. Pero huwag nga kalimutan guys, may requirements pa rin para makonsider ka as an active Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador or para hindi ka matanggal as a Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. Isang example na dito is dapat in a year na nasa program ka, parang one year into being accepted, dapat nakapag event ka na. Pero huwag kayong mag-alala guys kasi complete yung resources sa MS Teams. So sa MS Teams, doon na lahat ng mga kailangan mong sundan, kailangan mong gawin, mga kailangan mong kunin, as in, doon na lahat, and mga kailangan mong kontakin. So, ayun. So, bago ko ituro sa inyo paano mag-apply, ito muna yung parang mga guidelines nila. Number one, dapat at least 16 years old ka. Pangalawa, dapat meron kang valid identification. At pangatlo, dapat enrolled ka in a university or in an accredited higher education academic institution. So disclaimer lang guys, hindi kailangan tech-related yung course mo. Any course ay pwedeng-pwede ka sumali sa program. And then, to apply, dun tayo sa apply. So step one is you have to go to studentambassadors.microsoft.com slash apply. Ulit, studentambassadors.microsoft.com slash apply. Pangalawa, you have to fill out the application form. So, based on application form, kung saan ka nakatira, ano yung name mo, age mo, anong university mo, etc. After you fill out the application form, mag-move ka na sa essay part. So, sa essay part, may tatlong questions na kailangan mong sagutin. Tapos, mayroon dalawang option kung paano mong sasagutin yung essay. Yung isa, through type, through written sample lang. Pangalawa ay pwede through video. So, magsasabit ka ng video kung saan sinasabi mo yung answer mo. And, ang requirement doon, dapat yung isa sa mga questions na yun ay through video. Pero ang ina-advise ko sa inyo guys, lahat na ng questions ay gawin nyo ng through video or ang pasa nyo na ay through video instead na parang written sample. So ang ginawa ko doon sa tultong questions na yun ay through video lahat at nasa description box kung paano ko siya sinagot. After you pass, you have to wait. So ito for me ang pinaka-challenging kasi napaka-impatient kong tao. Uh, ang Microsoft First Student Ambassador na program, tumatanggap sila every 4 months. Parang quarterly if I'm not mistaken. Kasi ako nag-apply ata ako nung May or parang April, tapos natanggap ako siguro July na ata nun. Basta yun, ang tagal ko nag-intay para sa confirmation nila. So, ayun, intay lang kayo guys kasi every four months sila nagtatanggap ng bagong batch ng mga student ambassadors. So, na napag-usapan na natin kung paano mag-apply, punta na tayo sa pinaka-exciting part ng video na to, which is the unboxing of the Swags Kit. Ready na ba kayo? Let's go! So, ito na nga guys, ang Microsoft Swags Kit. So, buksan na natin ang unang sasalubong sa unboxing ay... Trwin! Ang certificate. Ayan. So, lalagay ko na ito sa aking wall at palagi ko siyang titignan to remind myself na, wow, I made it! Next one is, we have a Microsoft Water Tumbler. Ayan. So, kita nyo naman guys, sobrang dami ko ng tumbler dito. Meron akong pang water. Meron akong pang kape at syempre meron akong pang bragging rights. Alright, tinanggal ko na yung maliit na box at tulang natitira. So, ang next one is the MLSA ID. Wait lang, tinan natin. So, magkakaroon ka ng MLSA ID. Open na natin. Na-excite ako, guys! Na-excite ako. Para akong, ano, influencer. Charot. Okay, next one is... Charot! Ooh! Wow, socks. Tama-tama, guys. Malamig na ang panahon. Whoa! Ako guys, pag face to face, ito na lagi kong susuotin na socks. <laughs> ano to? Ano to? Rubber band. <laughs> Parang rubber band, no? There you go. This is another one. So we have blue, purple, and black. Alright, next item is Yumachi. Sala. I think ang tawag dito ay lanyard. Opa! Kilig to the bones! Ang ganda! Ready na ako pag ano, may, may convention sa US. Ganon. Sa atin daw. Tapos meron akong Microsoft na ano. Ayan. Ang cute! Locked up stickers, guys. Ang dami! Ano to? Parang stress ball. Tama-tama. Siguro alam na ng Microsoft kung gano'n ako ka-stress na finals na namin this week. So, napadala siya ng stress ball. Cute! Stressable kaya to? ASMR mo. Ah, sige, ASMR ko na. <laughs> Tindig niyo ba, guys? Ang Rubik's Cube! O, oh, yan. Nakabuo na siya para sa akin. Thank you, Microsoft. Hindi ko na kailangan mag-isip. Nakabuo na po yung Rubik's Cube. Charot! So, yan. Another one is Rubik's Cube. Thank you so much. 
And then, last but not the least, of course, ang pinakasosyal, the ever beautiful and gorgeous na Microsoft Search. I search Microsoft shirt. Ayan. So, be a force for good. And then, the Microsoft logo. Okay, so, what na natin, guys. Tran! Ito yung shirt, guys. Ang ganda. It fits me so well. There you go. Ayan. So, complete na ang ating swag box, guys. Napakaganda na mga binigay ng Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Program. And I can't wait to have yours as well. So, let's have another recap of the swags. for watching i hope you guys learned a lot and it's such an honor and a privilege to be one of the microsoft learning student ambassadors and i hope you guys join kailangan na help to pag apply or pag host ng event you may reach out to me at darla.david at studentambassadors.com or kung gusto niyo sa aking facebook page tiktok at sa instagram okay pero pinaka active ako sa facebook page so pag may kailangan kayong message sa akin ay punta lang kayo sa aking facebook page again thank you guys so much for watching this is such a fun video to make and I can't wait to see you at the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador program.